Welcome to a bowl of happiness. Today we are making chicken namban don. It's fried chicken soaked in sweet and sour namban sauce and topped with tasty tartar sauce. It's a popular dish across Japan, and I'm very proud to say that chicken namban is originated in my town, Nobeoka, Miyazaki, in Kyushu. Yes, it's the birthplace of chicken namban. You could eat chicken namban pretty much anywhere in Japan. But I do think that a couple of popular restaurants here in my town serve the best chicken namban. Maybe I'm biased, but that's how I think. It's taken me a while to make this perfect chicken namban at home, almost as good as the one served at my favorite restaurant. You wouldn't believe how tender the chicken breast can get. You could make chicken namban with the chicken breast or chicken thigh, but here we are introducing the recipe with chicken breast. Let's get started. First, we prepare the chicken. Remove the skin and cut into bite sized pieces and put it in a Ziploc. Add in one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sake, and one tablespoon of mayonnaise. Rub it well and let it sit in the fridge for at least two hours. This is the key to the super tender chicken. Mayonnaise and a bit of sugar is doing a great job here. Now let's move on to make the tartar sauce. Here are the ingredients. Finely cut the onion and cucumber. Sprinkle some salt and leave it for about 5 minutes. This helps remove water from the onion and the cucumber. Now crush the boiled egg with a fork and squeeze the chopped onion and cucumber and drain it well. Add all the ingredients and mix well and put it in the fridge. Here are the ingredients for the sweet and sour sauce. Put all the ingredients in a small pot 
and remove from the heat when it's about to boil and set it aside. Add 3 tablespoons of cornstarch and rub it in. Dust with some flour and dip in beaten eggs. Deep fry it in oil heated to 170 degrees Celsius for a few minutes and flip it over and cook it for another few minutes, in total of 5 minutes or so. Try not to touch the chicken when it's being fried as the coating comes off easily. When the chicken is cooked and looks golden brown, put it into the sweet and sour sauce for about 30 seconds. If you soak the chicken longer than that, the coating might come off, so be careful. Cover the steamed rice with some lettuce and put the pieces of chicken on top. Put some sweet and sour sauce and then the tartar sauce. And lastly, add some radish sprouts. And here we are, our chicken nam bandong is ready. You can definitely taste vinegar, a bit of sour flavor and this creamy tartar sauce on top makes this dish so good. One of my Canadian friends who used to live in Nobeoka loved chicken namban so much that she even made a song out of it. We used to sing together. When I first visited her in Canada, I cooked chicken namban and my friend and her boyfriend absolutely loved it and they even took the leftover for lunch the next day. That made me so happy. Eating chicken namban is on the must-do list for many people who come to Miyazaki. If you live too far away, then try this recipe. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. We introduced delicious Japanese homemade dishes that are easy to make. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already.